Hi and welcome to Mill Gap Farms. It's a beautiful day as always on the farm. A little windy. Let's go inside the cottage. I'm going to show you what we're going to fix today. Well, that's not going to work. So guys, we're not going to the cottage. I got to go get a key. All right guys, we're working on a Kenmore dishwasher. And the problem we're finding is that we're getting leaks on the corners. So I watched a lot of videos and what I kept seeing was the door gas. But that's not where my leak was coming from. And yours might not be coming from this direction either. That's not gonna work. Once the door comes off, it's gonna be a little light. Set your door aside and keep, keep pulling off. You need to pull this off as well. It's best to keep it in your lap. And the reason that's the case is because once this comes off, there's gonna be wires attached to it. And if the door flies up, you could potentially damage some of those wires. So now that we get this up in the air, let me show you where we had our leak coming in. Our leak was coming from the vent right there. And the way you could see it under here was this particular box. The challenge, I, I couldn't find any videos that showed how to get that guy right there off. It's pretty simple. You're gonna twist it counterclockwise. Sometimes you just gotta just hit it ever so slightly and it'll move. Once it moves, put your hand on the back and hold on to it, okay? Now that's gonna come off and expose, and hold on to this, <laughs> it's gonna expose the back. And this is where our leak was coming from, right there. So, there's your old gasket. So this one's a little bit thicker right off the bat. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure that thing is completely clean. I don't have anything to clean it with, except some cash from my farm stand. So I'm gonna use the cash, clean that thing out. There we go. So you put your new gasket right on in that same hole and there's these little ribs that are gonna hold it. And you can tell this one's a little different because it's a little smaller and it's probably not as worn, of course, being brand new. All right, so now that's in there. You're gonna set it back into position and you'll see it'll, it'll come right back in. So that's where it needs to be. Okay, hold the door with your chin. Now remember, this time it, it's got to go in clockwise, so you're going to push it in and you're going to twist it. There you go. That's it. All the other videos that I saw about leaks talked about the door seal. And we don't have a door seal problem. And I'll show you in just a minute why, what I mean. So at the moment, we're going to put it back together and do a quick cycle. And whatever you do, don't let go of the door. Because you don't have the metal on the front. And because you don't have that metal on the front, it's coming off. It's going to, it's not coming off. It's going to actually go up in the air. In just a minute, I'm going to put these guys together. In just a few minutes when I'm done, I'm going to torque them down with, with a hand screwdriver. So there we go. Now, we're going to do a fast wash. Hit start. So the leak I was getting was coming right out of here. And you can see a little bit of it. It created a little dirt right there. And that's where my leak was coming. It would run down hit the door, and then puddle right here or right here. And that caused a big problem. So we're just gonna take a few minutes here. We'll do a quick test, a wash test, and then we're gonna put the other door back on. And that's gonna be it. I do have this guy right here. Now this is the factory door seal, I guess, weather strip. And I'm not gonna use this today. I am gonna save it in the cottage though. So guys, I watched a few videos trying to figure it out. 
And they kept talking about the door weather strips, or I call it weather strip because that's I'm from the automotive industry. But they call it those those strips on the doors. And I wasn't getting my leak there. I was getting up here in the top, and it was still coming in. I ran this thing three or four times, and I finally located it. Ordered my part. It took about three days to get here, and it took longer to find my tools than it did to put this thing together. So you guys can hear it's running. We're in the wash mode. It's a fast wash. We're gonna give it a couple more minutes and then we're gonna call it fixed. Of course, what we need to do is we need to cancel it, let it drain everything out, and then we'll put the door back on. So guys, in case you didn't know, I'm in our B&B here on the farm. Our guests were kind enough to let us come in and fix this today. They're off on an adventure somewhere out in the county or thereabouts, and I'm really glad they gave us the opportunity to come in and fix it. We hate to have things broken. A lot of times we stay pretty busy, and as a result, it's hard to get in and fix some things, especially when you don't have the part. So in this case, we, we got the part ordered, and during their stay, we're gonna get it fixed and everything's gonna be fine. If you ever wanna come out and visit, go to millgapfarms.com um, and check it out. It's a really neat place. Very quiet, very peaceful. We did add a TV and we got a hot tub too. Um, and you know what? I think we might even have Wi-Fi. So if you ever wanna come out in the middle of nowhere and hang out, Go to millgatfarms.com. Oh, also guys, I bet you didn't know that we are Virginia's only organic maple syrup farm. So there's lots of syrup producers here in our county and it's the only county in the state of Virginia that does make maple syrup. But we happen to be the only one in the state of Virginia who makes organic maple syrup. USDA certified organic. It's really good stuff. Check it out. Again, millgatfarms.com. So we'll just hit the cancel because I don't think it's going to leak, guys. I think this, this is going to take care of it. Woo, see? Told you. Four screws on either side, and I'm missing one. How did I do that? That is so weird. What these are screwing into is plastic, so you really don't want to over torque them. You do want them to be flat, but if you over torque these things, you're going to end up breaking that plastic and then you're going to have to replace a front door. And that's probably going to cost more than the, than the unit's worth. So I get it snug with my drill. And we'll look down to make sure we're straight. We are. Okay. Got to be one of the easiest fixes on the on the farm, guys. Really does. Now, there was some diagnostics, and that took me, I don't know, an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I was cleaning the cottage while I was doing it, and so that really wasn't time lost diagnosing. What I would do is just run it, and then I'd go back and check after cleaning, and then if I found a leak, I'd have to pull things apart, and you know, I had to pull that door off three or four times in order to find the leak that we had. And it wasn't in the door seal. Again, not in the door seal, which is the typical leak for that, that particular uh, unit. Um, in this case, it was the vent. And that was probably the easiest repair ever. Now, here's a repair or a project that's not so easy. Has nothing to do with the Kenmore wash machine, but it's pretty nifty. Check it out. This is my spring and I've got four different sources of water in here and I'm at the point now where it's just about time to cover everything up and start to put soil back on and the good thing is guys I don't have any water coming out that's pretty cool so guys this has been a long time project for us we're, we're at the point of getting the collection point where we want it we're gonna cover it up and then we're gonna continue on downstream with the rest of the project which is tanks um, a waterer lines trench and that sort of thing on our farm, it's always something different. You know, one minute we're fixing a dishwasher, the next minute we're working on a spring. And this is gonna take a little bit longer. If you're interested, you know, subscribe to the channel and we'll be posting videos on this for the next month or so. Hopefully we'll have it done in a month because this has been taking a long time. We appreciate you watching our videos. 
consider giving us a thumbs up. We love your comments. Comments are great. They're golden. Help me be a better farmer. Really appreciate it, guys. So until next time. God bless you. What'd you say, Gabriel? God bless you. That's right. I'm running through these rocks. What? I'll run through these rocks. You can come down here now.